hope you've been having a good couple of weeks. I think I have about 15 or 20 minutes to film this video um, before someone comes back. Hopefully they will not. Um, and if that happens, I will just record this in two parts. I'm going to skip over, for the sake of time, um, all the things that have happened in the last two weeks and just get straight to the video. So, the last time I attempted to make another video showing you how to use um, these Impress press-on nails, I unfortunately, the, the package that I had bought brand new was missing one of the nails. So, I contacted the company and also another pack I had bought didn't have glue on one of the nails, which is um, very strange to have happen because they're usually pretty reliable. So I contacted the company and one, one thing led to another. It took kind of a while, but in the end, they sent me some replacement nails, which is in this package. I've also been biting my nails again recently, which is why they look so uh, horrendous. So I had originally planned to use these nails. These are some extras I have. They're these nice flower print. And with the accent nail, or this nail, being different, um, I've used these before. I don't know if you can see them, but they've got like a sparkly white flower with some glitter in it. In the mail from the company, I got um, these nails to replace the ones um, that were incorrect before. So they sent me the peacock ones. And then they also sent me these, which were the other nails I had. They're these blue sparkly green, blue, black, green nails, which unfortunately the glue on one of them was messed up. So they also sent me this, which was a surprise. I'm not going to use these today because now I'm feeling more like spring, so. First thing you want to make sure of is that you don't have anything on your nails. So if you have nail polish or clear coat, take that off. Um, you don't have to buff your nails or do anything like that. And you want to make sure they're clean. Uh, you don't have lotion on or anything oily. I've just washed my hands and look again, look how awful, awful that my nails look. So. Um, my nails are clean. That's the first thing. The second thing, actually, before I even open these, I'm going to pick out my accent nail. I've used these before, and since you only use 10 at a time, and then most of the rest don't really fit me, I save them so that for times like these, I have a spare one to use because I only need two. Sorry if the reflection is super bright. I mean the uh, sun. So obviously this is too big so I'm going to get rid of all the ones which I know are going to be too big right away. Mm. You do not want um, the nail to sit on your skin. So for example, this one appears like it's going to fit. So I tried it on here. However, one of the sides is too big and it hits my skin. So you don't want that because all that's going to do is be uncomfortable. <clears throat> Oh, 
hopefully there will be one that fits. It's not guaranteed. Too big. Oops. I dropped one. Well, I'll get it later. It was too big anyway. Alright, so this one might work. This one is kind of a little too small, but of all the nails, it fits the best. So And keep its match. There's a number on the underneath, so wherever the tip of the nail is, there's a very small number on the inside of all of them, which tells you what the match number is. So I think this one says six. Yeah, six. They're hard to read, which I don't like. And this one's six also, so you know you're good. Okay, so this one fits. And this one fits. I'm going to go with these two because these two are a little too small. Okay, so I've got that out of the way. So I can get rid of those. Okay, I like to lay them out in the order I'm going to use them, but I'm going to put these aside for now since they're going to be different and they look like this the length I have is the short length there are also long and I believe medium lengths, that might be incorrect, but definitely long lengths offered in these nails. Because if you're like me, you don't like really long nails. I like mine to just be kind of still sort of short and looked after. This comes with a file, nail file, which I like to, you could hold it like this and use it, but I like to tear it off. It's more flexible that way. So I do not need this anymore. And a kit with alcohol. It's an alcohol pad to clean your nails, but you don't need that yet. So I'm going to set those aside. Now to open it, you just twist and it comes off. You have your little display. I just dump them out. So, once again, um, the easiest way I have found to do this is rather than start by trying to match all the nails, I start from what I know for sure won't work. So, for example, I always try to do the thumbs first. Sometimes the thumbs look like they're going to be too big, and then they're actually size so that's a little too big now I haven't counted these out ahead of time um, which now that I'm thinking about it might have been a good idea <laughs> so hopefully we don't have a repeat of last time okay so I think these are going to work. Just make sure the number's the same. This is one. And this is one. So these will be my thumbs. That means these are too big. Um, I can also look at this one and see it's going to be bigger than all my nails. This one's a two. This one looks pretty big. Yep, that's a two. I'm looking at the number on the bottom inside of the nail by the tip. I always have the same pinkies. My pinky nails, I use the smallest ones. You can tell that they're smaller than the rest of the nails. My pinkies are teeny tiny. 
so just so you can see looks like that these are both 11's you don't really have to check because you can tell those are the same so I'm going to lay them out in order now thumb, thumb, pinky, pinky so if you were playing the piano if you could imagine they're going to line up how you would on the keys makes it easier that way. Okay, so now I see a few more that I think might be too big. Too big, too big, yes. This is a three. I'll get rid of that. I think this is probably the other three. Yes, that's the other three. Alright, so now I've gotten rid of most of the nails that are going to be too big right away, so that saved me some time. So, rather than what you might be inclined to do first, which would be start just trying on nails and figuring out which ones fit. Sometimes the number, even if the numbers match, they might fit differently on the same nail on the opposite hand. So what I mean by that is your feet, for example, don't always feel the same size or fit the same. I tried on a pair of shoes once, and I got one size. The box was actually mixed up, so someone had put the left foot of one size, and the right foot was a half size bigger. And I didn't know it, and they felt amazing and perfect. Until I uh, got to the cash register, and they told me that I could not do that. You have to buy shoes that are the same size. So, your feet fit differently, and so do your um, fingernails or your nail beds, but I like to at least try to use the same number on its corresponding nail. So, um, first thing is I like to match the numbers. Let me move these nails out of the way that I'm going to use. So I have space. Okay. This one's a 10. I can tell. I don't even waste my time with the ones that look bigger. So I'm going to look for one roughly the same size. Pick it out. That's a 10. Okay. This one is a 5. I'm going to pick out one with roughly the same size. This one... This is where it gets tricky. So to me, this looks like it says 6. I'm pretty sure that's a six, but that can't be right because the thumb, those bigger nails said six. So let me try again. All right, this one's seven. This is five, so five, six, seven. This is a eight. This is a five, so I'm going to put it with the five. This is an 8, put it with 8, so as I match them, I separate them out away from the other nails. This one is a 4, this one's also a 4, this one is a 6, okay, so I must have just misread the thumb, but in any case, whatever the number on it was, it a seven. Okay, good. So I have the right amount of nails this time. <laughs> this is a hmm. This is a nine. It's easier to see on these on the white nails the numbers than the dark ones because usually I get the you can't tell if it's an eight or a 9, but I can clearly see that that's a 9. So, yeah, 9, 9, and I think the way they work is the larger ones have bigger number, or I mean smaller numbers, and the smaller ones have larger numbers. So, the, for example, this giant one is a 2. Okay, so now I have my thumbnails, my pinky nails, 
I know already this nail, so I'm gonna not put that out. I'm gonna put that here and here because that's the position where it's gonna go. You probably can't really see that, but I'll show you in a minute. So now the only two I have to choose from are these two and these two. So we don't need to worry about any other nails except these four. So I'm gonna start. Um, sometimes it's easier to just start with the ones that appear the biggest and you can just rule those out first. So I'm gonna try my middle nail. You do not want a nail that sits on your nail bit. Well, let me rephrase that. You do not want to pick one that sits on your skin or that hurts when you're trying it on. So right now, this one sits into my cuticle, but it does not sit on my skin. So that would be a good one. But what you want to keep in mind, sometimes especially with the middle nail, this one fits, but look how far it sticks out. And I don't really want a long nail, so uh, I'll keep this one for a second. Okay, let's try my middle nail again. This one is a five. Oops, dropped it. Okay, this one's a five. This one fits also, but as you can see now, it's not as long, so that's more of what I'm looking for. So, for now, I'm going to place that in the spot where my middle nail will go. Place the other five where my middle nail will go. And it's usually a good idea to try them on each finger, like position them, but I know that's going to work, so I'll just do that. Um, now, since I did not choose this, you can just test it on your pointer finger. It's way too big, so I can get rid of them. Then I have my smallest nail. Um, this one is usually one I would try on this nail, or on this nail, but this is too small. So I'm going to get rid of those. So I'm left with four choices and I needed them to go on this nail. So, even though I've already picked my middle nail, your pointer finger and your middle finger, at least in my experience, are the two hardest to um, pick nails for because they're almost the same size, at least on my hand. So I'm gonna try this one that looks the biggest. That one fits, but it still seems, it seems slightly too wide. It doesn't feel wide, but it kind of looks wide. So I'm going to try it on my middle finger. That fits my middle finger also. So you kind of just have to play around with your middle finger ones. So let me try back the one I picked before. Of the two, I think I like this one better. This is a number six. So I'm going to swap out that other middle nail. These are the fives. Make sure it doesn't fit this finger. Nope. Get rid of those. And let me add the six. Okay. So now we have three choices left. Test this finger out. That fits. So now let me try this one. That fits and it's shorter. So I can rule out these two. And then the last one is too small. So these are number eights. Okay, so now that I've done that. I'm going to lay them out in order. So you've got your pinky nail, pinky nail, this one, this one, middle finger, middle finger, what did I do? Did I lay them down backwards? Eight. 
pointer finger, pointer finger, um, thumb. It's important that you do this on a stable surface, like a table, because I have attempted to do this on a not-so-stable surface, and it was awful. The next thing you want to do is get your file. I, I like to file them before I put them on. They have, some of them have this little groove at the top. I don't know if you can, you can probably see that. So I like to get rid of that. I find that when you do it with before you put the nails on, it's easier because you can really get underneath the nail. Whereas I think the um I think the instructions recommend putting them on and wearing them for like 30 minutes first. But I d I've done that also and I don't really like it. So there it is smooth. Do the rest of them. You have to be careful. Um, see, and I've already done it with the white tips, especially for some reason. The paint comes off really easily at the top when you file it, so I shouldn't have been so rough. But if you flip it upside down, it helps too, because then you can sand all up instead of right on the color. I don't think that probably made any sense. Okay, so there's that one. You can also file down the, um, you can make it more rounded if you want. Run out of time. I'm cutting it close here. So I'm going to stop talking to you guys for a second. mean to uh, make this video so rushed, but it's not just that someone's coming home, it's also that I only have 30 minutes available to film on my camera, or 30 minutes of space. I wish they could find a way for these nails to not have these ridges on them, but I don't know if that's possible. So as I'm doing it, I'm wiping off any filing stuff that gets under there. I don't know about you guys, but this is the first day in a long time where I can say I'm actually hot. It's been pretty cold here for a while, and today it was pretty warm. I, like, wasn't prepared for it to be so warm. If I'm running out of time, I've only got five minutes left, so I'm going to show you 
most of the next few steps and hopefully I can just tell you the rest. Okay. Last one. The next part is you need to remove the plastic on the other side. I like to use tweezers to do this. It's just easier than using your nail. So the tab at the bottom is where your cuticle goes. It's also opposite from the side that the number's on. So if you ever get it mixed up and twisted around and you can't remember which side is the cuticle and which side is the top of your nail, the top of your nail is always the side that has the number written on it. Always. They don't put the number at the back where your cuticle is. They put it at the top. So you can see the um, plastic comes right off. In the beginning, when I started using these, I found that if I use my nail, sometimes the plastic would um, splinter not tear uniformly, it would tear into sections, so, and then you have to go use your fingers and try to pull the extra plastic off, if you use tweezers it comes right off, okay, so that's off, now you need this wipe, it's an alcohol wipe, you want to get each of your nails clean and completely dry, so first I like to get them really wet while this is still really wet and then I like to open it and then really rub each nail if you have any cuts or anything this might stain my skin's been really dry so this isn't the most pleasant <laughs> sensation so you want to get each nail really good. Alright, now. So, those will dry. When they're completely dry, let me fan them really quick. So. Then you want to start from the outside and work your way in. So you want to do your pinky nails first, then these, then these, then these, then these. Your thumbs being last because I think you use these two fingers the most. So uh, my nails feel pretty dry so I'm going to start with my pinky. I like to grab it by the tip, center it where I want it to go like at an angle without pushing down and then push down when I've got it where I want it. You're supposed to hold it. Um, I like to roll my finger around for a few seconds. It says to do it, I think, for 10 seconds each or 30 seconds each or something. So after a while, it can kind of hurt once you've been doing it for a while. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just how about this? I'm going to just keep filming this for as long as I can. And if I get cut off, then I get cut off. But you guys get the gist. So now I've put this one on. So, so far, I have this one. And now I have this one. Sometimes the combinations I pick out to go with each other really work and look good, and sometimes they don't. <laughs> and that's okay. Uh, in case I get cut off, I should tell you, after you've applied all of your nails, and you've held each one, and rolled your fingers around, and gotten the glue nice and adhered to your finger, don't wash your hands or get your hands wet for at least 30 minutes. So, if you have to take a shower or go somewhere... Do that either before you do this or like 45 minutes or an hour after because you want to give it time to fully seal to your finger. If you take care of these correctly, they should last you 
too. They usually last me a couple weeks um, before they start getting gross. And by gross, I mean like sometimes the glue after a while can get nasty if you're like, I wouldn't work in the garden or do anything like that. I have done that with these before and they get really nasty because my, my natural nail isn't long enough to stick past the sticky part. It used to be, but it's not now. So there's a slight bit of extra sticky glue that's not stuck to anything. You want to try to avoid what I just did, which is to stick your finger in the glue. <laughs> I think that just makes it not last as long. There could have been oils on my finger. <sighs> and I fail at life. Look what I just did. So, I had the nails mixed up. This one got stuck to this one. This one was supposed to go on this finger. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> I'll just see if it'll work on my middle finger. Maybe no one will notice. I'll tell them I'm rocking the uh, glamour nail on my middle finger. Okay, so at this point, I have this on this hand, this on this hand. Make sure you roll your finger around while you're pressing so that you can seal it really well. And you'll find yourself, it's sort of like a, I compared it last time to a retainer. If you've ever had a retainer or braces and you get your braces off, you just can't help but lick your teeth because they're so smooth. These you just can't help but to push on them all the time. <laughs> I'm going to really quickly stick them on. And then mash them so that you get to see them. Remember, the number will go at the top. Alright. So, I don't like how if you can see close you probably can't tell but there's actually a white flower in these nails it's not just white so here's the one hand I don't really like the middle nail but on this side you've got this one they're a little bright yes I know but once you're dressed and you have your jewelry and everything on, they're pretty cool. I don't wear the white ones often. Um, but I like it when I do. If you decide this is not for you, this, this different nail here is just too much, you could take it off. You should probably use po nail polish remover because I imagine it would be really hard to get it off and just soak your nail in it. And then you could put um, the ones of these on. But you can pretty much do anything with these. And they should not come off for at least two weeks if you take care of them correctly. So I hope this has been useful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Some of you do ask me questions quite often, actually, about these nails and what I think of them and I also have other videos where I've done actually several videos of these nails so you can search my videos for those so thank you for being patient with me thank you for watching